Hello everybody! In this video, I want to talk about when you feel like you have ruined your art piece, which I'm sure happens more often than we'd like to many of us artists. So I was quite happy with how the moth itself turned out in this piece, but I felt that I completely ruined it with the background, which you will slightly see later on. I'm not going to show much of the process of me working on that part, mostly because I don't want to use precious video time on something that is not part of the final piece anymore. But what I do want to highlight is the process I like to go through when I feel like I have ruined a piece. So the first and probably most important step is to step away from it. This tones down the frustration you're probably feeling and helps you stop thinking about it. In my case, after I was done with the terrible background, I put the piece away where I wouldn't see it for over a month. Of course, you don't really have to take that long to go back to it, but I started investing my time in other projects and really forgot about it for a while. The second step is to be open to new sources of inspiration and ideas. So after taking some space from my moth, I partially invited it back into my mind in order to analyze possibilities of what I could do to make it better and fix it. So for example, I started thinking about ways that I could embellish what I had done to make it look like something different and something that I would possibly like. The third and final step is to take action and just try something. I know this can be daunting, but it needs to be done at some point. I tend to procrastinate this step, usually with the thought of not wanting to ruin it, but then I force myself to remember, you know what, I already ruined it, so what's the worst that can happen? Potentially, it'll just make it better. So that's when I took a pair of scissors and did what you will see at the end of this video. This is how I turned what I had done into a different kind of artwork and more importantly, into an artwork that I like and that I am happy with. I know these three steps are very simple, but it helped me and I hope it also helps you next time you feel frustrated with whatever it is that you're working on. You've got this. You can figure it out. I also wanted to talk a bit about art mediums and combining them because you'll see a bit of a mix of materials that I used for this piece. I go back from fine liner to fountain pens to alcohol base markers and then back to fine liners. I like when I work on pieces playing around and using a variety of things. I think it gives the piece an element of interest. It is very common for me and for many other artists to combine fine liners and brush pens with alcohol based markers, especially when you're doing line art but it is not as common to use fountain pens in the mix. Personally, the reason why I ended up using fountain pens is because I just so happened to have one of my pens inked up with a color that was perfect for this moth. It is the Arancio ink from Campo Marcio, which I'm sure you've probably seen it in some other of my videos. Actually, I think I used it in the April bullet journal setup. So I remembered I had this color in this pen ready to go, and I figured why not use it in the line art as well as the black ink to make it more interesting. And I definitely like the way it turned out. I like the way the line art looks before it being painted with the alcohol-based markers, and I like the way it looks at the end, along with the lines I did with the white gel pen. So I definitely invite you to try this out and combine some mediums and materials that you would usually not use together. If you'd like some more information on the materials that I used for this piece, I always write down everything in the information box below, so you can check it all out there. Also, this piece is available in my Redbubble shop, which I will also link below. There are some items and prints with the moth just like it is, but I also made it into a pattern for some other items like scarves and pouches and mugs and some other cool stuff. I think the ones with the pattern look really cool. I'm hoping to make two more of these moths all in dance-like positions, so eventually these could be a triptych together as well. I will now leave you with some beautiful music to enjoy the rest of the video, and as always, have a fantastic day! Bye!